Hello, people of God. It is Friday the 13th, November 13th, 2020. Sounds like an unlucky year here at St. Paul's United Church of Christ. But there was an unluckier time, or some people might see that. It was Friday the 6th, one week before a Friday the 13th, back in 1917. What was going on then? Well, World War I and the Spanish flu. And we've seen pictures of people wearing masks back at that time with that terrible pandemic. So we're not the first ones that have gone through it. But on Good Friday, two days before Easter, they had been cleaning up, getting ready for Easter. On And uh, that night on Friday the 6th, yes, of April 20, 1917, the chapel right there, it's actually a Sunday school building, it went up in flames. And J.D. Kiefreiter on the Amity Township 360 Facebook page posted a picture of what was left of it right after that fire. Pretty sad, but it has been built back up. It looks pretty good. And uh, last night, we had a team of people here working to fill snack bags for people who are without homes in the Reading area. And uh, we put these snack bags together just so that people can pick them up and nobody has to touch anything or scoop out stuff. They did 600 of those last night. God bless you for being faithful and doing what you could with that. Today I want to highlight that our deadline for ordering food for Thanksgiving is coming up. So I just got a call this morning from someone asking if we're having our turkey supper this year. Of course we're not. In fact, the date has already passed when we would have had that. Uh, but this was someone who doesn't have internet, so I gave him Nancy's number and I said she can explain to you what the prices are and if you want to make an order. So the way that's working is two days before Thanksgiving, on that Tuesday, from noon to six, you can pick up food if you pre-ordered it by this Sunday, the 15th of November. And uh, I, I won't go into all the sizes and prices, but we have them on our Facebook page, we have them um, in our newsletter, and we've shared a few different ways. Um, but you can get potato filling or turkey soup or pies, cherry crumb, pumpkin, or shoe fly, or pepper cabbage. I put my order in, and I'm guessing there are probably at least 100 orders that have gone out. And uh, then when you come, you need to be ready to pay in cash or with a check, because we're not able to swipe a credit card out in our parking lot here. Um, but get your order in. That will really help you out, I think, if you're going to be here for Thanksgiving, and it will be a couple less items that you'd have to make from scratch for your Thanksgiving dinner. And then you can just focus on being thankful, right? And uh, just a reminder that our offering envelopes are waiting for you to pick them up if you haven't gotten them yet. Also, you can get the bright green covered annual report. And please call the church office 610-689-9364 to let us know if you're planning on coming in person for our annual meeting on the 22nd right after worship or if you would like the Zoom link. And uh, we need to have a quorum of 75, so it's important for us to know that we'll have enough people that are coming to that. Our scripture today is one that you will hear on Sunday. I'll be preaching from this, from Matthew 25, 21. His master replied, Well done, good and faithful servant. You've been faithful in a few things. I will put you in charge of many things. Come and share your master's happiness. Now that's in Matthew 25, verse 21, and the exact words, every word of that, is repeated in Matthew 25, 23. Why would the same words come up twice? You might have an idea about that, but we'll talk about that on Sunday. Um, our focus today is on being faithful with what God has given us. That's a passage that's often used to talk about stewardship of money, but it has to do with other things that God has given us. And I want to challenge you this Sunday. What, what should you be doing and what, what is God calling you to be about? Um, God is looking for faithful people. And uh, let me pray for all of us in that. Lord God, we ask that you would help us to be faithful. Give us the gumption, give us the courage, give us the strength, give us the love to be faithful with what you've given us so that you will be pleased, that your kingdom will grow, and that others will be blessed. 
We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. The song that comes to mind is one that our friend Ed Merkel has sung. I think he, he did it recently in, not the most recent one, but um, in one of his pre-recorded songs that we shared in worship. And I'll sing just the chorus. Oh, may all who come behind us find us faithful. May the fire of our devotion light their way. May the footprints that we leave lead them to believe, and the life we lead inspire them to obey. Oh, may all who come behind us find us faithful. May God find you faithful, my friend, and I'll see you again soon, either in virtual worship, in-person worship, or in our vlog next Monday. God bless you.